Welcome back. Today we're going to be creating this simple accordion. In the interest of moving things along quickly, I've gone ahead and just ran a quick npx create react app and then I've just run um, uh, basically npm run start. And so I'm going to do some quick housekeeping. Let's just delete some of these files. We're going to expect breakages. Fine. Go into index. Port. That one. Come over into app.js. I'm going to delete everything inside of here. So let's put some content and then I'm going to delete the logo. Save this. Reload. And we should have. There you go, some content. Great. So I think first things first, what we need to do is maybe let's just add a. Um, you know what? Let's go class name and add a wrapper. Within our app css i'm going to delete all of this and i'm going to say dot wrapper play flex it would help if i could type play flex um height 100 before heights uh width whoops um then justify content find center I from center and now if I actually put some content back in here some should have content in the middle of our application take off so fantastic now what I'm going to do is create an accordion so I'm going to put another div in here and that's going to have a class name of accordion accordion fantastic and then in here, I'm going to have um, some items, some items. Now I've gone ahead and created a quick array. Grab this from the screen. And I'm going to paste this down at the bottom. So essentially all it is, is um, an, ob an array of objects and question with a title and then an answer. And then you we close that object off and we've got another question and answer so it's just a bunch of content it saves me writing it out and, and grabbing it from here so what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to map over that content so i'm going to open up javascript and then i'm going to say data dot map and then in here is i'm going to have a function and then i'm going to refer to these as items and let's say item and then i want the index as well because i want to know which item i'm looping over and then I'm going to have a div that is going to have a class name of item. And in here, I'm going to have maybe let's, let's break it up. Let's have a, a div of a title, class name, title. And then we're going to have, but well, we've got our, our item, our title, our content. So in here, let's have a to say and that is going to be the i so when we loop over these items this data and we get an item so this item right now we were we are referring to it as an item so we can do item dot question to get the title so i'm going to say in the h2 item dot question and then in the content i'm going to do item dot content so save and formatted. If we loop over this, load, get a fail. So what has failed? Um, um, oh, okay. Um, so we have messed it up a little bit. So it's returning um, J uh, JavaScript. So just turn that into parentheses, load. Yeah, we get question two and so on okay so content is being hidden let's find out why that is being hidden oh it's because it's not content okay that is answer 
take that reload and there you go we've got our question and our answer question answer question answer so the two problems there was one is we were using a javascript um callback so i was expecting like some some form of javascript but with in a jsx here and um, so i'll just turn that into parentheses and then the other one was that was content when it should have okay so we've got our our content what i'm going to do is target the accordion in our css and i'm just going to say width is 100 pixels let's do a little bit more let's let's just say now i want to add some styles so what i'm going to do is uh, let's target the item first and set the background now i've got a background from something that i chose earlier go and then i'm going to say margin hyphen bottom is going to be let's try five pixels and add in i'm going to get 10 pixels and then 20 pixels we may we may have to change this save that yep that, i think that works okay next i want to target the actual content and change up the um the actual colors of the text so we'll go with title first and i've got a color over here so i'm gonna go with this color is going to be 85662b and then content we just check was it content yeah we did call it content content is going to be color and again let me grab item over here save that okay um now i've missed off the little plus and the minus icon so i want to make sure that i just add those quickly i'm going to come over here create a span and put a plus in there for the time being now obviously that when it reloads yeah it's going to sit underneath because this is technically oh, it's just a static item it's going to flow of it is going to go underneath so i want to make the the title um yeah the title which parent i want to make that display flex and then put some space between these two items so they float basically left and right so on title i'm going to display flex then um, justify content space between and here i'm going to put a line item make sure that we align those into the center save that now usually at this point what i do is probably take everything down here and throw it into its own component however in the interest of keeping everything really clear and, and uh, just visible as to what's going on on page, I'm going to leave it where it is. But as I said, you know, I'd usually take this, put it into a new file, which is probably components slash um, accordion, accordion, um, say item or JS, and then have this return and then just pass in these properties down. Yeah. Okay, so. The, what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to be using some state. So I'm going to import state, import use state from React. And then I'm going to create a, a um, function up here, which is going to be basically toggle. What happens when I, I click on this? I want you to toggle between an active state and an inactive state. So I'm going to say const toggle is equal to function. And then I'm going to pass in I, and because I'm only passing in one property, uh, one argument, I can remove the parentheses. I'm going to save that quickly. Actually, let's just return I uh, for the time being. So return I, and then on my title, what I'm going to have is on click do something. So I'm going to return an anonymous function again, and sorry, not again. I'm going to return an anonymous function, and then I'm going to toggle but I'm going to pass in I here because we want to know what um, what item we're currently looping over, I. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to form a check first. Let's just say, um, actually, let's, let's set our state. There's no point in performing the check if we've not set our state. So the state that we want is whether this item has been clicked or selected, let's say selected. Set selected equal to use state, and this is equal to null for the time being. So, is our item selected, or and then we can we can set that state by set selected. So I'm going to say if selected is equal to 
i because we're passing in an item here then we're going to return um that's selected and we're going to say no now the reason that we're performing this check here is because i might click on this and i don't want it to set to set it open again so i'll show you what, what i mean by that i'm going to say set selected to i here so i'm over here i'm on the pro uh, i'm on the title i'm going to click on this and it's going to take in let's say item zero because we're obviously working in the way so this is item zero i'm going to pass in zero and then it's going to go up here zero if selected is equal to zero then we're going to set it to null because obviously I, I want this to close if it's not i then i want you to set it to i so zero currently if i click on it it's going to set it to null to null to close it if i click on item two so not one two click on item two and it will set that and it will close this item and open this item now before we go ahead and test this what i want to just quickly do is i want to come over the title because if i'm over here and i'm hovering over title i've got no indicator that this is an accordion except from the fact that there's a plus and i'm hoping hoping the user knows that this is an accordion so let's just make that really obvious by adding a cursor i'm going to say cursor is a pointer and now wherever I'm, I'm over it it's indicating to the user that this can be actually clicked so i'm going to come back over here and then we're obviously doing nothing with this state so we've hooked everything up and it should be working so let's test it so i suppose the easiest way to test it now is to change this plus into a minus if it's been clicked or unclicked so i'm going to come over here i'm going to say selected so if selected is, is equal to i then i want you to show a minus otherwise i want you to show a plus because obviously selected is equal to zero we're looping over zero zero and if that's the case i want you to show an i let's save this reload our our application and click and now what we're getting is a minus and then a plus so another way to test it is does this minus disappear after we click on another item yes it does and so now we know that we can add in this this additional class here by just copying this line moving it down here and if it's uh, so if it's selected i want to show content and show is that what we called it show and otherwise i want to show just content save that come back over here reload and it is working but our content is not so let's find out what's going on okay let's that oh hang on i meant to have triple equals so let's just set that and i added a key we can do that in a second i click on this Okay, content and and show is appearing. So what's happening here? Okay, I've not added my pixels here. Nine 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 nine. You were probably shouting at your screen when that happened, and show appeared. So let's just reload the app. Great. And as you can see, with that um, cubic bezier curve. We've got that really nice animation which just shows the the content just just hiding quickly but it's just just hanging long enough in in the middle and that's everything guys so i hope that makes sense if you do have any questions please feel free to comment down below until next time take it easy